focused like a laser on jobs in our economy. The result? The lowest unemployment rate in over three years and thousands of new Virginia jobs. And we're rated the best state in America for business. Virginia's growing strong again, and so is our future. Growing strong again. It sounds like it could be an ad for the president's reelection. But of course, as you may have seen on the screen, that was an ad from the Republican governor of Virginia who's running for reelection. And now some say that Republican governors who are running on their successful economic records are in conflict with Governor Romney's message that the president is not doing enough to fix the economy. Trey Hardin is senior vice president for Vox Global and former Republican campaign manager and aide to the GOP House leadership. Christy Setzer is president of New Heights Communications and a former spokesperson for the former Vermont governor. Howard Dean. It's nice to see you both. Thanks very much for coming in. And Trey, don't messages like Governor McDonald's undercut what Mitt Romney is going around the country saying about the president? No, I really don't think it does. There, I don't think there's a conflict there. Listen, words do matter and messaging matters. And, and maybe the president, maybe, uh, well, president, a little, re, little premature there, I guess, but uh, maybe Governor Romney needs to choose his words a little more carefully. But listen, this is an opportunity for the Republican Party. This is an opportunity to highlight um, Republican success stories as well as present a differentiator between the Republican Party and President Obama. You have 29 out of the 50 states are led by Republican governors and a majority of those states, many of them key battleground states in the presidential election, are states that are starting to turn the corner and that is because of strong fiscal conservatism by these governors. Christy, I'm guessing that the Obama re-election mm -hmm. campaign would say, hey, don't we deserve any of the credit for the good stuff that's going? We certainly get blamed. Shouldn't we get some credit? That's right. You absolutely cannot talk about the recovery in these key states without giving um, some of the credit to President Obama. You cannot talk about the way that Ohio has turned around without talking about the way that Obama was able to bail out the auto industry. You can't talk about the way that Virginia has turned around without talking about federal stimulus money. Look, this is creating a problem on a couple of levels for Mitt Romney. One is that it's just a problem of straight message discipline. You have these Republican governors and the president saying exactly the same thing, which is that the economy is turning around. And then you have Mitt Romney, who's the odd man out here, who's saying that, no, it's really not. Um, and the other problem that it's creating is actually a political problem, which is that if this gets any worse, you're actually going to see some of these governors not want to campaign with Mitt Romney. You're going to see them want to have to distance themselves from his words. I mean, that's, this could be really problematic for Trey, him. Trey, you're chuckling. I hear you. Not a chance. Not a chance. Not a chance. Listen, the, these, these Republican governors have taken leadership, have taken steps to get their states turned around without any federal government help. I don't know where Chrissy's getting her information about what President Obama has done in the state of Ohio. I think she mentioned the auto industry. That's actually in the state of Michigan. But, but, but the there the, are manufacturing these, these jobs are, these in the are state success, of Ohio. These are, these are these are Republican-led success stories, and the gov and Mitt Romney and these governors would do well to work together, coordinate messaging. I agree with you on the message discipline front. Coordinate messaging and talk about them because incumbent governors, incumbent candidates have to run on their record. They can't float new ideas unless they have a record to run on. Otherwise, there are new ideas ideas are flat. Unfortunately, Barack Obama does not have a record to run on. These Republican governors do, and the Republicans should seize on it. So, Christy, these are Republican mm -hmm. governors in key swing states, as Trey mentioned yes. earlier. If we look at the economy in Ohio, we look at the economy uh, mm -hmm. in Virginia, in Florida, where things are looking really good. Pretty what good, is, right. What is the, I mean, you know, compared to the rest of the country, what is the That's line right. of attack for the president to be able to try to, to, to get convince voters that he deserves credit when there are Republicans? who are running the state house there. Uh, it's not a line of attack. It's just the truth. I mean, you mentioned Ohio and Florida, and those are great examples. Ohio uh, just recently experienced its 10th straight month where the unemployment rate has been lower. It's actually now at its lowest rate since 2008. And if you look at Florida, Florida is now two full percentage points. Uh, the unemployment rate is two full percentage points lower than it was a year ago. So these are two stunning examples of economic success, um, both for the president, and I I'm not going to say that he did it alone, and also some of the Republicaners, um, Republican governors in these state houses. Uh, Trey, it really is a tricky line, though, for Republicans, isn't it? Because you certainly don't want to come off sounding like Debbie Downer. You know, if there's good stuff to talk about, you want to be right. able to talk about it, but you don't want to talk about it too much so that it helps the other guy. Well, absolutely, and I think this is where Chrissy and I can agree just from our, our backgrounds of working on campaigns. Message discipline is key. She mentioned it early. I mean, I, I would encourage uh, the Romney campaign to coordinate with these governors and 
and kind of compartmentalize what they're talking about. Talk about the success that these Republican governors have had getting their economies back on track in their states while addressing on a national level the debt, um, the deficit, and what President Obama has not done um, with respect to this economy. So I, I, I think that they both can coexist. And Christy, finally with you, I mean, the, 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 the states mm -hmm. that we've mentioned might be looking better, but the, the national economy on a whole, the unemployment numbers, if you take a look at them the going in the wrong direction, if that doesn't turn around, uh, none of this is going to matter because uh, most people say that the president is going to have a very difficult climb uh, under those kinds of circumstances. Yeah, there's no doubt that this election is absolutely going to turn in the economy, and there's also no question that the Obama campaign has always said that things are going in the right direction, but there's so much more to do. Ultimately, it's going to come down to who do you trust in the economy? Is it the president and the Republican governor of state, or is it the guy with the car elevator? Christy Setzer <laughs> getting in a little car elevator joke at the end, and nice. Trey Harden. Thank <laughs> you both. It. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thanks for having yeah. me.